Excitement in the kitchen. Say, let's see the excitement. All right. Just you come along with me and I'll show it to you. Welcome, I'm Jonathan, the appliance dude here at Curto's in Westchester County, coming at you high atop Central Avenue in beautiful and bucolic Yonkers. Can't you hear the tranquil hum of Central Avenue behind me? Um, folks, it's not about appliances tonight, it's about grills, in particular the Memphis wood-fired grill, which I've been playing with, and me likey. Um, this is my pre-Thanksgiving uh, video segment. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because this past weekend, I took it upon myself to pay homage to the bird, which I really consider America's national bird. I understand that the uh, American bald eagle is technically our country's um, uh, symbol and bird of choice. But uh, to me, the uh, turkey, um, the centerpiece of the most important non-secular holiday okay, uh, in our country, the centerpiece of the table. And actually, in my family, I've obviously come from uh, Italian ethnicity. On Christmas Day, the, uh, the Thanksgiving dinner was pretty much replicated. So there was a turkey again, right in the middle of the table. So it's meant a lot to me. And it kind of like, you know, um, bums me out when people talk about the turkey in such a disparaging way, like my wife, for example. Uh, it's too dry, it needs tons of sauces and gravies and other just sugary, nasty things to get the flavor profile kicking up. And I'm saying, hon, you gotta try Heritage Turkey. Um, so I love turkey and I know as I have immersed myself in the world of barbecue, the world of smoking, the world of grilling, um, and it is a lovely, lovely place to immerse yourself in. I'm so comfortable there. But I have learned that there are ways to do the turkey and do it right, and that begins, my friends, with smoking, okay? So what I did this weekend is I went and I took a bird. I bought a 12-pound bird from my guy Minis in Bronxville. You must visit him and tell him the appliance dude from Curto sent you. Um, I got a 12-pound uh, fresh, uh, organic uh, bird. I think it's, it was it was a Bell and Evans, and uh, and that's the important thing, folks. When you're doing something like this, you must you must work with the right materials, i.e., the right type of turkey and the right type of device. The Memphis Wood Fire Grill definitely fit the bill on that note. Um, so really, my goal here was pre-Thanksgiving because. Again, I'm not hosting Thanksgiving. I'm going up to Connecticut. So I wanted to play around with the Memphis, uh, try smoking something for several hours, seeing how it you know, went along and what the results were. And it just happened to be that Steve Reichlin, my barbecue hero, the man with the finest hair in the world of barbecue, and he has a new show, Project Smoke. It's been on PBS probably since midsummer. And on one of his episodes, okay, which actually just aired a couple of days ago, he smokes a bird. He smokes a turkey. It's a whiskey smoked turkey with some other accoutrements that he, uh, that he uses as well. Um, and uh, the results looked absolutely phenomenal. So I said, I'm going to go take the, and he, and he used a Memphis wood fired grill. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to replicate Steve's actions, going to do everything that he did with not as much hair. But um, I'm going to use the Memphis, so we're going to do it right and see how this turns out. So again, I got my organic turkey, um, which he's a big uh, believer in. You got to get the bird that's been raised humanely, treat it right, etc., etc., etc. I brined it, brined it for 24 hours. The brine consisted of uh, peppercorns, uh, clove, onion, um, what else? Uh, maple syrup, a few other things as well. And then Steve said, you must use your favorite whiskey, okay? Now, um, I'm not really a big whiskey guy, but I like scotch whiskey, so I used the Lagavulin in it, and that was probably mistake number one. Um, it was a little too strong, and one probably shouldn't be using a $100 plus bottle of scotch in a brine, but um, mea culpa over there. Um, anyway, brined it for 24 hours, and then took it out, it was ready to go in the smoker yesterday. And this is the other beautiful thing about the Memphis Grill, is that you don't need to babysit it, okay? I had to work yesterday, so what I did is, I took the turkey, 
um, put it on the grill, and I hate calling it a grill because it's so much more than that. It's really like a grill slash oven slash smoker, or maybe actually in reverse, or it should be a smoker first. But this thing is just, I think I'm actually shortchanging it by referring to it as a grill. It could do so much more. Um, but anyway, um, what I had to do was set it at 200 degrees in the intelligent temperature control that the Memphis uses. Um, it's, just, it, it's just, again, one of the beautiful things about this grill that it's just, uh, and this is really the reason why I use this grill as opposed to a Kamado, you know, like an egg or something like that, is that, you know, with the Kamado style, there's a bit of manipulation, which is cool. Some people are into that. I've had times where I've done cooks on the Kamados and I've had to, you know, my temperature started to drop. It stalled. I had to get in and start manipulating air vents and everything. And then I had to, um, or perhaps the temperature started rocking up too far northward. So the Memphis, the beautiful thing about it is that you just place what you want in there. You set your temperature like an oven and then you sit back and just let it go. And you can even use their meat probe, which is actually included with it as well. So it's just, it's plug and play, it's so easy. Um, so what the recipe called for were three hours of smoking at 250 degrees. And then what I did for the last hour, actually more like the last 30 to 45 minutes, I ratcheted up the heat to 400 degrees. And Reichlin, Steve Reichlin said, you need to do this because when you smoke, while the interior is going to become incredibly juicy and flavorful, what will happen is that the skin has the potential to get a little rubbery. So he says you always have to ratchet up the heat in the last hour or so to get that beautiful crispness and a darker skin. So um, you can see some of the clips of what I ended up with. Um, I got to tell you, for my first time doing this, I have to pat myself on the back. It tasted absolutely phenomenal to the point where my parents who had come over um, to try it. And my wife made this big Italian Sunday sauce dinner yesterday. And I'm like, Nick, we're throwing the turkey on as a second course. I mean, everybody just devoured it. Dad was asking for seconds today. Um, I am uh, leftovers. I am actually going home tonight making a beautiful smoked turkey sandwich that I'm really looking forward to. And that's one of the reasons why I'm cutting this video short, because my ass is hungry. Um, but uh, the moral of the story here is that the, the wood fire grill, I mean, we've had it here for a couple of months. People come in and they check it out. They're like, wow, what is this? I mean, because it's so beautiful looking. The craftsmanship, I mean, it is handcrafted in Minnesota. Um, it's actually not from Memphis, but it's from the good people in the Midwest. They do an incredible job with this grill. And, um, but I just don't think the smoking thing is really caught on quite yet here, but it is gaining traction. And I am going to be at the forefront of that. Um, I am, I mean, I love this grill. I absolutely love it. It has actually taken away from some time that I've spent with the Kamado, uh, the ceramic grill, um, which, you know, has its own intrinsic beauty to it. And I will never get rid of mine, but I'm going to give some love and uh, some time to the Memphis now, get more familiar with it. I have people that are telling me that they smoke, I mean, forget, I mean, hams, uh, turkeys. I mean, they smoke pies. I've seen people smoking apple pies, pumpkin pies. So as we now really go into the hardcore holiday season over here, there's going to be so much opportunity to throw different things in there and see how they come out with the beautiful smoky flavor. Oh, and by the way, the, um, the wood that I used, the wood pellets, uh, was hickory smoked. Um, I think next time I would probably tend to use apple. Um, another thing I would probably change slightly with the recipe. But again, um, we have Memphis Wood Fire Grills here to check out. I will do some cooking demonstrations outside. If you want to come by, you can make an appointment. And um, I'll probably arrange something the next week and probably next two weeks. And we'll smoke something outside. So, folks, that's about it. Um, an incredible pre-Thanksgiving smoke out on the, on the Memphis. Um, I'll have links to the recipe from Steve Reichlin and some pictures as well. If there are any questions about this incredible, incredible appliance, uh, please email me, come in, call. I love talking about it. I love grills. It's all good. Um, there will be follow-up videos focusing on the Kamado versus the Memphis um, and uh, you know tons of other things. I'm going to do actually a basic introductory video on the Memphis and talk about how it works because it's such an incredible, incredible feat of engineering what they've done with this thing. Um, but more on that, this was all about turkey. It was about the bird. Everybody have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for your time. Peace.